Okay, hello, I'm Skyler, and I'm going to show you a program that I've been writing called Swift. This is the code for Swift. It is 3,706 lines of code. Um, I've written it all myself, and so I will launch it. And it is an open source alternative to Adobe Flash. So you can see the interface is similar to Flash 8. Um, that is what I based the interface on. Um, it allows you to create Flash files. It also allows you to create HTML5 animations. So I will show you a simple animation. And right now it opens up with a few objects in it. Uh, it a box, a ellipse, and a curve. And the box has the Swift logo on it. So I will create a keyframe by hitting F6. And now I can move the objects. And now they are at a new place in the keyframe. And I can make a few more keyframes. And now I can hit return to play through these. So there I have a simple animation. Um, so as I mentioned, I can export to HTML5. So let me demonstrate that. And so um, I have now the HTML5 file. So I'm going to open that with Google Chrome. And so we can see it's playing the animation. It's rather slow at the moment because Google Chrome just started up. But when I open it in a running browser, it runs pretty fast. So let's go back to Swift. So, um, uh, one thing that I have done is I have a complete action script support. So, um, I can, uh, for instance, put in um, a running variable. So, here I define a, a variable in action script called var1, and I say it's zero. And here I will say. Here I tell it to increment by one each time it reaches that frame. And here I tell it each time it gets to this frame uh, to go to the second frame and play from there. And I also tell it to uh, trace uh, the variable in the output window. So now let me run this. And so here we see the animation running. And we also see in the output window um, the values increasing each time it reaches that second frame. Now you'll notice this is a lot faster than it was in Chrome. That's because I set the frame rate to 50 frames per second, which is a lot faster than Chrome will handle when it first, first launches. Uh, but the Flash player does not have that difficulty. And this is using Gnash right now. Um, the software is still uh, in uh, early alpha stage, which means that there's a lot of bugs and a lot of stuff that hasn't been implemented yet. However, I have a framework for implementing such stuff. Um, I also have a terminal with which I can issue commands directly to Swift. Um, this allows for the input of uh, modules, which uh, allows other people to extend the functionality without having to uh, go in and edit the source code. Um, so I do not have anything to show for that, really. But So that is what I have. Um, let me see. I can also import images. So let me demonstrate that with a 
PNG image. So now I have this image imported to stage. And I can, I also have uh, the ability to resize the image, um, which is very useful when you import very big images. So, so far that's about all that I have. I will uh, put a more complete feature list up soon. So, thanks for watching.